Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs and welcome back to another League of Ireland news video. This is the video that consolidates all the day's news and puts it into one manageable package for yourselves. If you're new around here, please subscribe, hit your bell notification button so you don't miss an upload and please like the video if you like the content. Let's get straight into this one guys. Now start off with news that Shamrock Rovers and Ireland under 16 winger Kevin Zeffi is set to move to the Italian Giants Inter Nazionale in the coming weeks. Reports suggest that the Dublin-born youngster who doesn't turn 16 to next month will move to the Italian city with his Albanian parents, fending off interest from multiple clubs around Europe. In terms of a transfer fee, he cannot turn professional until he reaches the age of 16. The Hoops, along with the club who led him to Talos St. Kevin's boys, won't receive a transfer fee as such, but they'll be entitled to some compensation as a reward for developing the highly rated and technically gifted young Footballer. Now Zeffi at the age of 15 appeared for Shamrock Rovers B on a few occasions last season and he's a player that um he's obviously rated highly guys of internationally are after him. Um, is it a big risk for him to go abroad at the age of 15? I know his parents will be going with him as well. The fact that um, his parents are Albanian as well, you know, obviously means he can play for Albania as well. So um, you know, it might be difficult now that he's left Ireland that if he proves to be good enough for that level later on to actually um you know get him essentially to play for the irish national team but it's an interesting one and um i wish him well now in transfer news as well dundalk fc have confirmed that they've reached an agreement with fk karachi for the transfer fee of stefan kolovich for an undisclosed fee uh, kolovich had another year in his contract at oriel park but um interesting that they decided to let him go at times he looked good last season i felt didn't score many goals, was a tricky winger, um, but I suppose if they got a decent fee and he wants to leave, um, that's the best thing to do for all clubs. But sad to see Kolovic go and I wish him well for the future. Now Galway United are delighted to announce the appointment of Gary O'Connor as first team coach. John Caulfield has straightened his backroom staff further after the announcement that Lisa Fallon has joined the club as first team head coach. O'Connor takes up his new role at the club after a season and a half in charge of the under-17 side. The vastly experienced League of Ireland coach previously assisted Galway United head of youth development Johnny Glynn at Mareview United. The UEFA A licence holder then assisted Tommy Dunn, helping United to win promotion from the first division in 2014. So a lot of work being done at Galway, obviously regarding signings um with players but now the backroom team has got a bit of a shake up as well as they look to prepare for 2021. Now Drottery United have submitted a list of their playing staff for 2021 as it is so far. Goalkeepers David Odomusu and Colin McCabe. Defenders in the squad are James Brown, Jack Chute, Hugh Douglas, Daniel O'Reilly, Connor Kane, Dane Massey, I know it'll be Ryan O'Shea sounds as a defender, although I see him more as a midfield player personally. Midfielders Mark Hughes, Gary Deegan, Jake Highland, James Clark, and Dara Markey. And their forwards are Brandon Birmingham, Mark Doyle, Jordan Adiemo, Chris Lyons, and Dinny Corcoran. I like the blend uh, the, um, of experience and youth there. Um, you could argue maybe they need a few more bodies in there in terms of the the squad size. That said, a lot of clubs can say the same thing, so I'm sure there might be one or two by the end of the year. Possibly one or two youth players could be added to that as well, but it's looking pretty good. It's a good squad, and um, I don't see a weak squad in the Premier Division this year, guys. I really don't. Let me know what you think of the squads so far for Drottery United. The other side that got promoted, Longford Town, have also submitted their squad list so far this season goalkeepers have got luke dennison and lee stacy um they've got joe gorman mick mcdonald shane elworthy carl chambers ben lynch aaron mcnally joe manley paddy kirk as their defenders uh, midfield have got dean zambra a dervin dean byrne dylan grimes matthew o'brien who's a young prospect to watch out for by the way thomas mclachlan and callum thompson uh, they've also got Callum Warfield, Aaron McCabe, forwards you could say, Sam Verdon, Aaron Dobbs and Rob Manley. Um, it's a good squad of players as well. Uh, I think it's going to be a difficult year for Longford Town, particularly because of the 
quality of the other sides, but it's going to be interesting to see how they get on, and I wish them the best of luck ahead of 2021. And finally, guys, I'll leave you with a bit of an interesting one, and Bohemian FC have appointed Sean McCabe as the new climate justice officer. Now, when I say new climate justice officer, they didn't have one before, by the way. Um, it's a weird one, isn't it? It's a bit wacky and a bit out there and a bit strange. Um, you know, is, it, is there a point within a football club? I don't really know. Um, they come up with great ideas, in fairness, Bohemians. I just think this one's a bit out there. What do Bohemians fans think of this one? Um, would you agree? Um, what is a climate justice officer? Basically, that's the other thing as well. Like, really, what, what is it? Um, I don't really know, but... Um, it's a weird one, guys, for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've not much to say in this one. So, guys, that's it. That's all the League of Ireland news I have today. Have a fantastic weekend. Once again, please subscribe if you're new. Hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. What else? Check out my Instagram as well, Irish Footy Vlogs, and give us a follow there uh, if you please. And that's about it, really, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again next week. See you later, guys. Good luck. Bye-bye now.